There we go. Starting this trip Where's off right. Yeah, I'm pretty lightheaded. Dude, you all right? How you doing, Bryce? Sleepy. Yeah? I can pass out. You right? made it. We're back! We've, when were we here last? 2018. 2018, so we've been talking about this trip for a while. Yeah. We are back on the Colorado Trail. Um, kind of kind of picking up where we left off. Kind of. How's, how's it feel to be back? Feels great. Colorado, yeah. we always talk so much about how amazing Colorado is and just like, I'm so excited to get back. It's just so beautiful out here. And uh, we got a great crew. We have a great crew, so uh, you all know them. We basically built his channel at this point. <laughs> yeah. Now our buddy Bryce is back. Uh, this, you know, the second we decided to come back out to Colorado, you know, Bryce was the first person we invited. He always makes the cut. Yep. But the uh, the star of the show here, you've seen him on our podcast. You've seen us drinking at his bar. We got Scott over here. Um, hey guys, how's it going? Scott is a de facto trip master of this trip, so I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, I'm stringing it together just with you guys. No, no. Nothing big. This is good. So we are. Um, so last time we were in Colorado, we. We, we did segments up until through segment six. Uh, we're skipping segment seven because we don't want to do that. Uh, no, that's just not how the trip worked out. So we are starting in segment eight right now, and we are gonna go eight through 11, cap it off with the 14er. Yeah. Um, four nights, five days, about 50, 50 to 55, 60 miles, including the 14er. Yeah, something like that. So pretty legit little trip. Let's go. I have the heavy back. So what are we at? All right. Like what are we at? My guess is, to the scale. My guess is 28, 29. That's why sex is better at altitude. <laughs> what? <laughs> 36. 36 pounds. 5. 36.5. <laughs> nice. Oh. That's a new record. And that's not including that's your a, camera. So yeah, probably 36, phone. 37. Yeah. This one. Ready? 29.21. 28. You have the M50 on. Uh, yeah. 30. Point Four, five, three point five. Wow. Okay. Three point wow. six. Good call, Scott. You, so you're the lightest, Scott. What are you at? I'm gonna guess twenty four. He's been weighing his stuff all week. Wait, wait. Are you He's carrying a beer? Hold on. Five. Yeah, put some beer weight yeah. in there. Okay. <laughs> okay. Twenty five with the beer. What about two pounds? In there. What about that little guy? Twenty seven. Okay. Twenty seven. All right. Beer. I win. Just so excited to be back hiking the Colorado Trail. Um, go back, check out our videos from a few years ago where we get a taste of kind of the beginning of it. These segments, it just gets progressively prettier um, the more you get into the mountains. Segment eight starts off right at Copper Mountain, the ski resort, if you know what that is. And then basically over the next 45 miles, we loop down south around Leadville. And then we're gonna cap off this trip with a hike up the tallest mountain in Colorado. What do you think so far? God, Colorado. You know, it's that Rocky Mountain High. Yeah, it just, the air is just cleaner. It just feels better up no, here. I mean, like we said on, you know, like we've always said, the trails are so well maintained, so graded so nicely. Um, I mean, just oh, look at yeah. this. Yeah, uh, you haven't uh, you haven't told them to subscribe to the podcast yet, or check out the merch. You know, you're rocking some right there. Uh, yeah, I'm tired of telling people to subscribe to the podcast. Like, you just need to do it. Like, stop. Just, just stop just thinking stop. about it. Stop. There's a link on the screen There's right a link. now. For the love of God. Just, for the love of God, dude. Bryce. Yeah. Do you want to tell him, Bryce? For the love of God. <laughs> Subscribe to the Backpacking Podcast. Hey, you're you're probably the most repeat guest. Yeah, also, we haven't we haven't said it, but we haven't uh, we haven't said it, but uh, also of course check out uh, Bryce's YouTube channel. We'll put links down in the description. Uh, Bryce, I haven't heard Bryce say check out the Shield Brothers channel, but that's okay. 
Oh, I will. <laughs> I'm just teasing, dude. <laughs> Bryce, we made you. Well, Scott, what do you think so far? So far, so good, man. Yeah. Good trail coming up here. Yeah. You, ha you happy you decided to take us all, us Ohio boys up here? Yeah. Un un unacclimated? Yeah, we'll see how that goes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's going good so far. I'm loving the, uh, I'm loving how soft this trail is. Yeah, it's real nice. Good service. Bryce? Yeah. Killing it? Oh, dude, so, I much yeah. so much bokeh. So much bokeh. Oh, good. look how blurry. <laughs> no, dude, I forgot how nice this was. Like, yeah. Temporarily forgot, like, how much nicer it is than, than Ohio. East. It, dude, this is awesome. Making our way um, through segment eight. We've passed Copper Mountain, and you can see the trail just kind of winds its way up through this meadow, which is absolutely gorgeous. And we're looking for a spot to stop. We've gone about a little over three miles and total mileage today is probably gonna be around the 10 to 11 miles, which is kind of aggressive for the first day, but we got a pretty early start, so that's good. Uh, and I think only 2,000 feet of climbing today, which is pretty good for this trail. So time to find a lunch spot. Bryce, I love it. Three miles in. There we go. Starting this trip where's, off right. Oh, where's that beer from? Oh, a little place called Endeavor Brewing, Columbus, Ohio. It'd be awkward if you didn't like it because the guy who created it, it's right there. <laughs> so we are stopping for lunch right now. Um, about three and a half miles in, done a little over a thousand feet of climbing. So far, so good. Yeah. I love the trail is just, it's so soft and comfortable. And uh, it is, I mean, it's so, it's graded. It's really not that bad. Scott, what do we got coming up? Hey guys, yeah, so just about 3.2 miles ahead on the trail. We've got a pass that's just over 12,000 feet. We're about 11,000 feet right now. So nice, easy, three miles, 1,000 feet of gain. Get some good views up top. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping it like clears or, out. Or is good. it a pass yeah. like this, you think, you know, it's just like in the woods. It'll be between the little saddle. It's probably a saddle. But they area. call it a pass, right? Isn't that by definition, like open? Maybe? Yeah, it's a, it's a spot, a saddle between two higher points. So it's an easy place to pass between. Hence ridges, the name, ridges, pass. All right, pass. and then we think we dodged some rain. Uh, we're gonna get Andy up there at the top, throwing his staff into the ground <laughs> saying, none shall pass. Nice, nice, right? all right. Good lunch spot, let's do this. <laughs> so, we are making our way up to like Cyril, Cyril, Cyril Pass, about another mile and a half. We are sitting pretty at just about, 11.5 and the pass is 12,000 feet. So definitely feeling the elevation now, but honestly, it's not like that bad, especially given it's our first day at elevation. Like we're still keeping a good pace and we're not like dying, but it is noticeably difficult. So let's get to the pass. All right, the uh, the sun exposure, the sun exposure stuff is, is on fully. Bryce, looking good nope. there. Thanks. I think we're uh, we're all exposed. I think from here on out. So make no make no bad decisions on the first day. I like that, Bryce. I think everyone everyone's kind of bundled up. And there's I was just saying the wind up here it hasn't been that bad. Today would be this aggressive. Yeah. Well, it, I, it was tough. It was tough. It was tough. It was tough. It was a battle. Charged. It was the best pass I've ever done. 
Better than top two, top three views I've ever seen, for sure. Yeah, I'm a. Oh, that's your watch? Yeah, I forgot, to, I forgot to restart it. Oh, nice. We're good now. Yeah, so we're going to be going. I think we follow this ridge for a while and then down into that, and then it's camp time. I'm ready for camp. I'm yeah. ready for happy hour. Yeah, me too. Yeah. This is a little bit more aggressive for day one than I would have liked, but. Heavy packs. That's okay. <laughs> we'll make it work. Air. No, it's pretty good. <laughs> Dude, you're, you need to drink water. Your lips are white. Are they? Yeah. Dude, I've been drinking a lot. Yeah. We're almost there. Yeah, I'm pretty lightheaded. Dude, you all right? There. Yeah, yeah, dude. There. <laughs> this was a very aggressive first day for us, more than we've ever done. Yeah. And then you ran 100 miles two weeks ago. That's probably not helping. Not helping. We're all digging this uh, above alpine zone. It's really nice, and uh, it's not too windy. Nice and warm in the sun. Some meadows off to the left. I think we're just along this this upper area. For a while. What? There's up there. There's a what? Oh yeah, it goes all the way up there. All right, a few miles left. A Andy's on his leave no trace uh, vendetta against these. No, I. This is this is this is not my state. This is not my trail. I'm I. It's not my call. So. But it, but if it were up to you, these wouldn't be here. Does this serve a purpose? I think it just looks like it. I mean, it does look cool, but like. So I, I will say that. Oh, in here we go. High alpine environments. Okay. Defending the cairn. Trails get broken and you don't have earth. You're simply on rocks, talus, scree. Yeah. Cairns are imperative for route finding. So if you're on 14ers or other kind of alpine environments, cairns really help route finding. This trail. I say this trail doesn't. doesn't need a cairn. This trail doesn't need so a cairn. So this is glory that someone stacked it up. Someone's yeah. put this stuff on there. Now I will say in winter time and something like this, if you have snow and you're back here on recreational vehicles, snowmobiles, cross country skis, snowshoes, seeing something like that could actually. Really That's help. true. Fair point yeah, in the so winter. Think about it. Fair point seasons, in the winter. And you have right. to think about context. Fair point in the winter. You might be off the trail. You could be wherever. Yeah. yeah. So I guess so. I so Andy's just a dick. No, I, 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 <laughs> well, we found it. It's not. It's not super ideal, but it's not terrible. You know, we got some spots. We could have like we can have like our little powwow area right here. Yeah, yeah. And the unfortunate thing for Andy is he's gonna have to go gonna back to in go. there. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited to see this setup, Scott. Really? Yeah. How you doing, Bryce? Sleeping. Yeah. I can pass out. You right made now. it. We did. Um. We did like. Just under 12. Hmm. Yeah, the noon work. You seem to be powering through there at the end. I mean, yes. You did great. We're proud of you. It's a. Uh, it's not ideal, that's for sure. All right. So what's uh. What's what's for dinner here? Uh, we're gonna try the sweet pork and rice. Everybody raves about. That is like the most talked about yeah. thing I've I've heard. It smells lately. good. Yeah. Smells good. Sweet nice. pork and rice. Calorie rich, oh, calories yeah. in the packet. Yeah. 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 It's it's for two people. Clearly. I need I, several servings. Yeah, as per usual, didn't eat enough today. Mm -mm. Okay. You know what my watch says? Our, my calorie burn is at as of 6:30 p.m. Almost 4,100. Makes sense. Yeah. Uh, Scott, what do you got? Uh, tonight I'm going with the opposite of fancy. And I'm going with the <laughs> hey, stove top stuffing <laughs> turkey nice. edition. I typically write the box instructions in Sharpie on the outside. <laughs> oh, and oh, nice. Recycle That's at home smart. and I stop having to guess smart. how many cups of hot water. I'm doing the, uh, the backpacker's pantry beef stroganoff, so. Nice. Do you just pour it right in the bag? It's right into the freezer bag. And Bryce needs to force himself to eat yeah. over there. You awake? Yeah? You got some chicken and rice? <laughs> I do, I do bring some. Nice. Some Not seven days of it though. And I'm doing something I haven't done in a long time. I brought the cat can stove. And there's a reason I brought the cat can stove because Scott, in that little bottle, right there, gave us some de denatured, no, gave us some grain alcohol. Non-denatured, pure. So we can drink it too. Alcohol. In theory, 
you could. So Andy, what are the final thoughts on the peak refuel uh, pork? He's people, underwhelmed. People go, people go. He's underwhelmed. Yeah, I'm underwhelmed. People go crazy over it though. I mean, it was okay. It was. Are you eating more food? No, I'm just prepacking. Oh. Food. Was um, like it was okay. Would you buy it again no. for eleven dollars? No. Isn't that how much it is? Yeah, it's like eleven bucks. Yeah. No, get out of here with that. Doesn't have. Doesn't hold a candle to the instant stuffing. Yeah. We're trying to force food into Bryce. <laughs> Almost. Don't get it stuck. <laughs> oh, you got it. Get it down. You got it. That'll work. The final product. It's better than some of our hangs. So, we're going to wind down this video. Yes. This will be the end of it. End of, uh, end of today. Hopefully, end of, this end, of, end of today's part of this video. <laughs> so, what would you think of the Colorado Trail? I mean, it's beautiful. It's good to be back. But we got our ass kicked today. We did 12 miles today, so we did 11.88 miles in just under six hours. And what do you think our ascent was? Take a guess, Scott. I'm gonna say 2,500. 2,818. That's pretty close, though. Um, hopefully, Bryce is doing okay. He's got to sleep it off. He's got to sleep it off. I didn't think about altitude sickness, but that kind of is the most obvious thing. But he's been at this altitude before with us and been fine. You know, altitude sickness can affect everyone differently yeah. every time. I didn't think so. about that. That's it. Good night. End of day one here in the Colorado Trail. We'll do one of these. Bryce lives. I'm awake. Yeah, did you, did you need sleep? Dude, yeah, I slept actually like really good. I mean, I woke up a million times, but that's to be expected in the woods for me. I've got a solid amount of condensation on the inside of my tent. Uh, I got frost on the inside of mine, even on my sleeping bag a little bit because really? it's touching the wall. You ready to attack day two? <laughs> attack, I don't know if that's the word. You've got to be so hungry. I'm f***ing hungry. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I'll bleep that out. You won. Yeah, I'm starving. I would've went and got my food already, but I don't know where you guys hung it. Oh, go. It's up. It's uh, it's way up there. We'll go get it. I had to have babysitters last night. You did good. You, you survived. You helped me out a ton, though. I, I had nothing left. You, you were, when you were like, I would've tapped if I could. Well, good thing you can't. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I would have tried to sleep it off first. Yeah. But if I would have woke up and felt that way, and there was a tapping position, like, I mean, I might have got segment nine and been hitching back to wherever. Did you bring a chameleon? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know. I didn't realize. Yeah. He was down there. Did you hear that, what happened to him yesterday? What? I. I uh, I heard him saying something about something falling down, but I was so delirious I couldn't. So his his dry bag with his quilts fell down this into the creek and started floating down the creek. <laughs> <laughs> so he, had to go, he had to go in and get it. Oh, dude. I ran, I ran down, my feet are wet still. I ran down into the creek and jumped in and like ran after it. <laughs> yeah, that oh sucks. So, uh, pretty good night, I think, all around. Did you guys have a good I slept sleep? Well. Yeah. I slept okay, not great. The first night I always don't sleep the best on a backpacking trip. And then the fatigue just catches up with you after <laughs> sub subsequent <laughs> nights and you just fall asleep. Bryce is uh, alive and feeling great. <coughs> and today's plan is keep Bryce alive. So what's the plan? So um, we got about five miles downhill uh, and then about 10 miles going up slightly and there's apparently an area of like a creek and a bridge and a bunch of campsites that's just under 15 miles from here so what's our elevation right now we're at 11,000 feet right now uh, which is real high uh, we're gonna go down to like 9300 over five miles and then up to like 10 5 or something like that over 10 miles so a much easier day than yesterday thank god Bryce is alive Bryce you feeling okay he looks good. good I feel 
100% now. Nice. This morning I was still a little iffy, but hopefully it doesn't come back. This is a little bit nicer than yesterday's hike, isn't it? So far. Look at this backdrop too. And, and the crazy thing about yesterday is it was a very challenge. It was a challenging day for me. Yeah, um, for everybody, I think. Walking above in that alpine zone for most of the day, that was just- That was awesome. It was so amazing. Nice little point of interest here. These are uh, bunkers, I think from, I don't know, World War II maybe? Andy's going in. Let's go see what's inside. And they probably just housed ordnance in here. Is there anything in there? Nothing? Oh yeah, nothing. There's a ton of them though. And they go all the way down. Bryce is uh, telling his viewers. Everybody pick a room. Yeah, right? Shade. Yeah. We could just live here. Yeah. I wonder if anybody camps in here ever. How big is it in there, Scott? It's pretty tiny. It's just know, that. It's probably six by oh, okay. eight, nine. Nice. I think we're gonna stop here, hang out for a little bit, maybe find some shade. All right, Bryce, what do you think of campsite number two? Primo. This is much pretty good. Better. Yeah, let's say I'll give it a... Much better than last night. Look at this. Flat. Obviously, we're not having fires, but it's a nice fire ring. Tons of hammock, tent options, thank God. You could have a YouTube meetup up here. There's tons Yeah, of... you could, yeah. <laughs> you could fill this area. Yeah, it's really cool. Scott's going over there. All right, let's get camp set up. Okay, real quick camp tour. Bryce and I are going side by side. Right there, this is a great spot. And then Andy is back there in the chameleon. And then Scott's tarp setup is back there. And I, I don't know if we have enough space for everyone, right? It's kind of tight in here, yeah. There's even more stuff back that way. And actually, back that way. It's a dry camp. Yeah, it is a dry camp. Uh, so we, we, we each hauled up like, I don't know, four to five liters of water each, which really sucked. But we're here now, it's 2.30, so now what do we do? Well, we originally aimed to do 15 miles today, and that didn't happen. And there was a couple reasons why, but uh, actually thanks to Gut Hook, <laughs> we decided to shorten the mileage today because due to the, the stretches between water and the camping options, the where we had planned on camping during this segment was everybody was reporting in gut hook and somebody also told us about how bad the mosquitoes are like just awful bad so it was either we could push past where we were planning on camping and we'd have to pull about a 20 mile day which we could do or we'd have to stop beforehand and um it was kind of like a big uh, like a area going up to tennessee pass where there's no water 
uh, not really much reported camping. So the 10 mile range kind of was the other option. So that's what we did. I'm not certainly not complaining about it, but we'll just have to make up those miles. Andy, what do you got for dinner? I think tonight I'm going to do, I can't remember the brand, just like a random beef stroganoff. Oh yeah, this thing. Oh, Chili Mac, Trailtopia Chili Mac with beef. You're doing, that's, that's not that much food, right? Is that enough? Uh, two servings per container, 340 calories per serving. So, okay. 680. That's fun. Um, Bryce, uh, what's for dinner? Um, I don't even know, I haven't thought about it yet. Probably, I think I'm gonna go with the Colorado Special Chicken and Rice. I was gonna say, chicken and rice, all right. Uh, Scott, have you gotten that far? Well, if you're doing chicken and rice, should I do the chicken and rice too? Ooh, it might be. Uh, my go. other option would be bangers and mash with smoked sausages and. That's a pretty good option. Yeah. What is your uh, mosquito strategy going to be tomorrow? Move quickly. But like, you, aren't you using clothes to some? Head net if needed, and you know you've got bug spray, but really. It's unfortunate, but there's like no stopping. I mean, we did it at Pitchford Rocks, the same thing. I mean, this is like nine or 10 miles though. No stopping. Uh, all right, Scott, like Fast and the Scott, what's your uh, strategy tomorrow? So my strategy, I always, always in my pack have light wind pants and a light wind jacket with a hood. So these are Houdini layers. I'm gonna tuck these into my socks like you do in tick country. They can't bite through this. Sorry. It's okay. Uh, if headlamp's good, maybe a, a little stuff on the back of my hands, like bug repellent. Okay. I'm probably gonna go even shirt. Go shirt. Sure, sure, oh, nice. Just the wind layer. Same with the pants, compression shorts, just pants, and walk through it. Um, yeah. So like, because- All right, Bryce. You're gonna be sweat, sweat boxing in that, so you don't yeah. want to shirt on it? Yeah. All right, that's a good idea. Well I'm doing basically, like kind of what Andy said, just like bug spray, layers, or head net. Have you ever hiked through a barrage of mosquitoes? Oh, it's awful. I mean, I've been in some heavy mosquito territory, but I've never like voluntarily like stayed in it for 10 miles. Yeah. <laughs> so this will be fun. Okay, end of night two. Um, it's probably like, I don't know, mid to lower 50s. And uh, I don't know, 8.39, people are starting to go to their respective shelters but uh good night but i think the plan tomorrow is to get up kind of early so we can uh hit the mosquito hellscape reasonably early in the day and get that out i think we have like probably like 17 16 17 miles tomorrow so i think we're gonna try and get up at like uh six and then get going like we did today but and then night two bring all the mosquitoes What? What? You good? Yep, good. I'm tired. On that note, good morning. Rainy morning here in the Rocky Mountains. The rain kind of just swooped in. It's like 6.30. I've just let out the air in my sleeping pad. And then it started raining. <laughs> um, <laughs> Andy had to go put his tarp up. But otherwise, pretty good night. I uh, only got down to like I think the upper 40s so it really wasn't that cold and no condensation on the inside that was a great thing to wake up to so I think maybe just wait out this rain a few more minutes and then it's time to prepare for mosquito hellscape How'd you sleep? I slept okay. Yeah? Yeah, I've been up since like probably four. Oh, really? Yeah, just laying around. Yeah, I probably didn't really fall asleep well until like one or two in the morning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I usually, like last night and tonight, or last night and the night before, I like went to bed and then I woke up at like two and then was on and off, so. Yeah, that's how mine was. I didn't think it was gonna rain. Yeah, it, ju it literally started. This isn't bad though. Yeah, it was nice. My tent was all dry, like no condensation. It really wasn't that cold either. Oh yeah, that is good. 
This will dry up here in a second. Yeah. So what are you, you cold soaking for lunch? Yeah, I use the bag for my oatmeal, and now I'm cold soaking the dehydrated buffalo chicken in the bag. Oh, nice. That'll be for lunch on wraps. Well, hopefully this rain stops. You know, I've got my stuff in the tent over there. Luckily, we got the tarp, so we're just hanging out. It's only like uh, about 7.45. Yeah. All right, so it's raining right now, a little pitter patter. Uh, I've got the biscuits and gravy. Andy's got the uh, oatmeal. We're gonna slowly start to uh, get stuff together here under the little pitter patter. At least Andy, you got your tarp set up. That's super helpful. Bryce is ready, Andy's ready. Scott's been going on like a 25 minute straight video. Old 20,000 subs Bryce got recognized at the trailhead by a guy dragging this. It's pretty cool. And uh, Bryce, yeah. Bryce, what video did he say that he likes? Yours, my bushcraft videos at my mom's house. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody loves those videos. There it is, there's the start of segment nine. So we came out through there and we go right back up into there. Apparently, these are craters from uh, old explosives. That would kill you. <laughs> Maybe. Definitely. All right, what do we think of segment nine so far? It's nice. I yeah. like these woods walks. Yeah. So. It's pretty easy so far, nice right? Flat. Real nice, flat, little up and down, nice yeah. soft pine surface. I've yeah. only seen like two mosquitoes. I haven't got that yet. I know. It's, it's, it's coming soon. Luckily, it's very dry out and very windy. Yeah. I'm just kidding. It's, it's not, it's not dry. Like Everything's it. so lush. Well, this, we are officially uh, 25 miles into this trip, yes. uh, the 50 mile plus the bonus 14 or so. We are gonna end this video, so basically all of segment eight and a little bit of segment nine. Yeah. We're gonna end this one before the mosquito hellscape starts, so make sure you check out uh, part two. Part two, it's gonna be good. Yep. I can already tell. Also, uh, make sure you check out Bryce's channel and Scott's channel, we'll link them below. Yep. Let's bring it on. Yeah, let's do it. All right, see you on the next one.